Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are one week out of the biggest competition in the bodybuilding in the world, Mr. Olympia. And for the past day or two, today also, there is radio silence. All the top dogs are not posting anything. They are probably preparing or traveling to Orlando, Florida, where Mr. Olympia is going to be held. But I'm sure next week, in the days prior to the actual show, we're going to see more of these guys. You're going to see some sneak peeks and stuff like that. So guys, stay tuned. However, right now, it is calm before the storm. Right now, nobody is posting anything. We do have this photo of Nick Walker. He posted this a couple of days ago. As you can see, it was taken at nine days out of Mr. Olympia. And based on this photo and so many others, I mean, this one is not really showing too much. But you can get the idea based on his shoulders, his chest, his arms, that Nick is bringing like serious size. I mean, last year, and usually before the shows, before the big shows, Nick tends to get a little bit flatter, right? He tends to look a little bit, you know, softer, a little bit smaller. And then as the show approaches, he peaks and he gets big again and hard and full. But right now, he looks super shredded and he also looks really big, really full, really round. And I am sure that him and Matt Jansen are not changing their tactic. I'm sure what is happening here is a simple fact that Nick grew as much as we all expected he would. I think the numbers added up in the end. Like he was, you know, like 280 almost with a really good condition. So I don't know what his weight is right now, but he seems much bigger. He looks much bigger than he looked for the Arnold. And bigger than Mr. Olympia last year. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Nick Walker, you know, in proper poses, under some good lighting, like hotel room lighting, right? And like maybe when he puts a tan on and when he carbs up some and he dehydrates a little. So those photos, I'm sure, are gonna be completely freaky. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting this guy, I mean, I don't know what exactly I can expect from him. I know he won't be out of top four. That's like worst case scenario. But personally, I think he's going to place higher than that. I don't know who he can beat, but I think he's going to beat at least one of those three guys. Heidi, Derek or Samson. Maybe two, maybe all of them. Maybe he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. That's not impossible. We all know that his structure isn't perfect, but what he can do with his physique, the way he's posing, the way he's presenting himself, man, he can do a lot. And now with this newly added size and with the mistakes that they're going to fix that they made for the Arnold, like, you know, keeping the fullness, especially in the legs, and uh, just, you know, Matt learning about Nick's body more and having the off-season, having the entire year of working consistently, I know they're going to bring something special, something crazy. I do also know that Samson is going to be improved. I know that Derek is going to be basically a new bodybuilder. I believe that Hardy can be better a little bit, but if he stays the same, that's also very dangerous. So anything is possible, really. But based on what I'm seeing right here and in all the physique updates that Nick posted so far, I think he has a really good chance. Personally, I have him in my top three. I think worst case scenario, Nick will be in the same spot like last year, third, but there is a big chance that he's going to climb up that ladder this year. What do you guys think? All right, next we got a physique update, a posing video, you're gonna see more of his physique in a moment, of Bekrus Tabani, who unfortunately will probably not be able to travel to the US, and it seems like he's not getting that visa. Monday is the last day that it can happen. If it happens, he will somehow made it in the final moment, but if it doesn't, then it most likely won't happen. He's gonna be doing Romania Pro and other post-Olympia shows in Europe, which it's cool and I, I believe he's going to win those shows and qualify for the third time, but I don't know how is this guy ever going to get to the Mr. Olympia. Look at this physique, man. Look at this physique. This is top 10 material. I mean, he's not completely dialed in here and if he knew that he's going to be able to compete, I'm sure his stress levels would be so much lower and his physique would look so much more impressive, but even like this, 
it's a really good physique man it's a really good physique i mean these iranians they have something special about their physiques they all have the same kind of hardness roundness like that that freak factor and um, uh, for example hari like he has the same things like he has the hardness the, the crazy conditioning and also that plastic sort of look if you know what i mean but he doesn't have the best like shoulders and arms and forearms this guy does i mean i'm not saying he's better than hari but potentially he might have more potential right like if he gets i don't know 20 30 pounds bigger i mean this guy can be really really good and i believe this year he would have a fighting chance to crack that top 10 but unfortunately they won't let him travel to the u.s and this begs the question whether mr olympia should be held in the u.s or maybe move to i don't know some neutral country where anybody can go to such as dubai for example i'm pretty sure they're not gonna do that because the majority of the fan base is in the u.s and they wouldn't make as much money uh, selling tickets in dubai so i get it i understand it is a business after all but realistically it would be fair because i mean there are so many great guys who aren't able to travel to the u.s and compete against the best in the world so like hari chopin wasn't able to travel i think prior to 2019 i think like one year or two years he wasn't able to so maybe he would he won the mr olympia that year or at least placed in the top three so the results really aren't legit like there are better bodybuilders who want to compete who can compete who are qualified but just can't travel so you know it is it's 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 a bad situation but it is how it is this year i mean it's still not over there is still a chance maybe something will change by monday and uh, this amazing athlete right here will be able to compete against the very best in the world i still hope so but yeah most likely it's not going to happen unfortunately what is happening with Guduito? he posted this story of his back right now in the off season as you can see this is an off season i mean he does look humongous but what the hell happened everybody was so excited to finally see this social media bodybuilding star compete against the top pros he did get a pro card last year and he was supposed to compete against nathan diash and regan grimes at the italy and spain show but you know he wasn't able to travel to the europe he didn't get a visa then he said that he was going to be able to compete in the u.s so he went to the u.s as far as i know but he didn't compete at the last show the last mr olympic qualifier that we had uh, in the u.s which was legion and i'm pretty sure he would have won it if he looked like this against charles griffin and john jewett he would have won that show but he decided not to do it also he hurt his knee at that one point when he jumped off that stage doing the gas posing and also his wife was pregnant and was about to give birth around the time when legion would happen so i'm guessing he just gave up because of all the things that i just mentioned he decided to quit to pull out and uh, you know it, it's really it's really bad because he was basically in competition shape I mean, he could have been a tad bit tighter, but that was basically it. He should have done that Legion show, but who knows what happened to him to him in his private life. He didn't really say anything. He didn't say that why he wasn't going to compete at that show. And just now we got, I mean, we already saw a bunch of stories and, and posts in which he didn't really show his physique, but you could see in his face that he was, that his prep was over and he was deep into his off season. And now when you see this, yeah, he is pretty deep into the offseason. And it feels like he had some serious hunger issues after the prep. I'm guessing Chris Asito, and I know how Chris Asito works. I spoke to some other guys who he coached. Like, he is hardcore. Like, he wants you to get as peeled as possible. So I'm pretty sure, like, good Vito didn't have easy time working with Chris Asito. So when the prep was finally over, he probably started binge eating. Because I think this is this is way too much to gain in such a short time like how much how long has it been like maybe five weeks four or five weeks 
and he got like really chubby like really watery i wouldn't say fat i mean there is some fat there for sure but like he, he doesn't look anywhere near the contest shape the shape that he was in before he he gave up so yeah i mean he's deep into his off season obviously hopefully he's training hard and like making improvements he does look really big this back looks seriously massive and like really wide it looks crazy and um, yeah whatever whatever happened i mean this wasn't an easy prep for good vito unfortunately he didn't go through with it he pulled out in the end it, at the very very end but hopefully next year we will see him at uh, one of the pro shows against the very best in the world all right next we got a physique update of justin shire i don't know how many of you guys are familiar with him but he's like one of, i mean he won a pro show he's doing the mr olympia he is probably one of the guys that are going to be in that last call out i mean i'm a fan of his physique it's phenomenal and all that but it needs to get bigger in order to compete against the very best i mean it's like from all the show winners uh, this is one of the the i don't want to put him down but like there are other guys who are better than him i mean he's a rookie like he turned pro uh, a year before and this year he already won a pro show and he's doing to the mr olympia he's doing the mr olympia uh he could he could have like taken a break and you know made more progress and competed next year but i think he, i mean he said that he wanted to utilize this opportunity to actually you know uh, have this olympia experience and I don't think he really expects much to do, and I don't as well. I mean, he has a phenomenal physique, a really good shape. Hopefully, he will, I mean, uh, Matt Jensen will get him, like, super shredded. Maybe he will stand out with that, because at that show that he won, uh, I think it was Chicago, he didn't really look, uh, like, he wasn't very conditioned, and the competition wasn't really that tough. He kind of got lucky to win a show, really. Uh, and now this is the way he looks and he looks great i just don't understand why is he not posting his physique like every single day uh, i mean i understand why guys like nick walker like samson dauda like uh, derek and hardy are not showing a lot because they don't want any pressure on them they don't want crazy expectations and stuff like that they don't want too many eyeballs on them people talking about them criticizing them and stuff but Justin, I mean, they, those guys want to win the show. Justin is going to be in one of the last callouts. So uh, I think he should just use this opportunity when he's still in shape, while he's still in the best shape of his life. I mean, use this time to grow your popularity. I mean, it makes sense for the top guys who are, like, who are fighting for the victory to hide, but not for these guys. I mean, they are prepping for the Mr. Olympia, and I like stories and YouTube videos of them training and eating. That's all fine. But what we want to see is a physique. And I think that would be really the best thing for him to do right now. Uh, it would make a lot of sense. Like, you're not going to win. You're probably not going to place in a top 10. So what's the freaking point of hiding? I don't get it. Basically, on these on this photos here, he looks good. He looks really hard. He looks definitely at his best. I think it's going to be a better version than Chicago. I didn't like his Chicago version that much, like, his back was really off, like, it was really soft and watery. I think if they do some things differently, they can pick him much better, and he will present himself much better on that stage. But let's not even talk about the potential result. This is his first Mr. Olympia, it's all about enjoying the experience. Uh, where do I see him placing? Once again, not in the top 10, not in the top 15. I think there are 20-something guys... So if he beats a couple of them, a couple of Olympians, that would be a huge success for Justin. Um, and uh, yeah, he looks great. All right, next we got Terence Ruffin. Who really understands this game? Like, uh, he was second at the Mr. Olympia at one point. Last year, he dropped down to six. And people kind of sign him off. Like, uh, people are talking about Ramon Dino and Urs Kalicinski and these guys uh, as far as, like, the, the runner-up, the top three positions. And everybody forgot about Aaron Ruffin. So he knows that he doesn't need to hide anything. So he's showing us his entire physique. And this makes us wonder, can he climb back up to that top two position? 
I mean, now that he doesn't have a weight cap, I mean, I, I asked him already in the comments and he said that this new weight cap, I mean, he does have a weight cap, weight cap but it's much higher than before. Uh, he said it's not really going to help him that much because he didn't try to grow a lot in the offseason because he found out about this change at the, at the, like, at the end of his prep for his qualifier. But there is one thing that is for sure, and it is the fact that he doesn't have to worry about making the weight. I know that that one year at the Mr. Olympia, he didn't make the weight, so he had to do cardio on the escalator with like a jacket on, and he somehow managed to lose that one pound. This year, that's out of his mind, like he doesn't have to think about making the weight at all, which kind of means that he's going to be at his absolute freshest. And as long as his conditioning is spot on, last year it wasn't, it definitely wasn't, it was really off. But this year at the qualifier, I think he won that Dubai show, maybe another show as well, he was peeled, he was shredded, way more than he was in the Mr. Olympia when he played sixth. And I know that for this Mr. Olympia, he's going to be more peeled than at that qualifier. So as long as his conditioning is like spot on, we know that he's the best poser up there. He does have a phenomenal physique. Yeah, he's a shorter guy, smaller in stature, so it's gonna be really hard for him to stand out, but he did it before, and he can do it again. I think it is a very big possibility that this guy is going to be in that top two, top three again. What do you guys think? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel, guys, for more bodybuilding coverage, Mr. Olympic coverage, and all kinds of bodybuilding videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.